Hey guys, this is Pritam Sarkar and you are watching Superhuman. Today uh, my setup is a little bit weird. Uh, I I wanted to do my setup like this today. Uh, by the way, our topic is going to be uh, about the market market crash uh, uh, slash coronavirus recession slash uh, I lose my money and slash how can I make all weather portfolio to get on with it the um, stock market so first of all uh, if you are guys new on my channel i do make videos about uh, investment stock market and uh, i like to read books which is obviously i i f fall in love with and another thing uh, i wanted to uh, show it to you guys today on this uh, volatile stock market crashing time how can you get on with the stock market make a dollar cost averaging and how can we how can we protect our portfolio uh, on a potential uh, stock market crash so first of all i started uh, my uh, investing investing you know i started my investing from june uh, 1st uh, 2019 and since then i've been doing uh, pretty good but this time this past two weeks uh, people got like really 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 panicked about the stock market dow nasdaq uh, s p 500 it's dropping and gaining dropping and gaining so what my advice um, i think that it would be it would be perfect to uh, this time that we can buy some good stock on a cheap price so don't panic at all and try to continue investing if you continually investing so if you do not time the market so you have a higher chance of gaining higher returns over the long period of time and if you do that uh, you have to do it a certain manner after uh, after every quarter or after every six month or one year or so you need to balance your portfolio and you need to check uh, which sector is doing good if uh, technologies is doing good it's really good so you can invest more on technologies you have to maintain your portfolio like if you have technology you have etfs you have bonds you have commodities stuff like that so we are going to talk about all those uh, all those areas and how can we manage and how can we how can we get on with the portfolio uh, in the first place so first of all uh, the father of that uh, of that all weather portfolio the term is all weather because uh, it will give you return no matter what happen uh, stock market going down going up it will be you will be gain for that uh, you will be a gainer on the stock market if you try to research uh, a bit so first of all i i don't know if you guys heard the name of uh, ray dalio so ray dalio born in long island is a middle class family uh, boy and he grew up he started investing he fell in love with investing uh, like warren buffett the almighty warren buffett and then he started his own uh, hedge fund and which is very fascinating which is the number one hedge fund in the world right now the name is bridgewater associates it's in connecticut and he have 100 and 60 billion dollar under his asset management so think of that for a second 160 billion dollars he is managing for other people that let him money to manage his uh, manage uh, on the stock market so that's how great it is and uh, so Ray Dalio speaks that uh, whenever you do your whenever do your portfolio because uh, you have to be very careful about your portfolio because first of all you are not that you and me not only you you and me are don't know that what's gonna happen in the future and future what's hold for us so in these two weeks uh, that makes me a very humble person for the stock market because in these two weeks i've seen some crashes very very bad crashes and uh, another fault is uh, robin hood outages because uh, on that particular day that stock market gained one trillion dollars of worth of stock that gained on s p 500 and including nasdaq and uh, dow industrials uh, robin hood got crashed the system got crashed for one whole stock trading day and it happened it came back at the night and then again it's uh, on the next day it got crashed so we are pretty effed up on this situation i couldn't sell my stock and i had some uh, i had some call and put which i was predicting that market's gonna go down or market's gonna go up but as uh, eventually i lose my margin money 
uh, and I'm still happy about it because I learned a great deal of lesson and uh, that makes me humble and that's why I wanted to do this video in the first place so Ray Dalio is saying that you need to be very humble about your picking so if you pick one stock you don't know it's gonna give you a better opportunity in the better gain better results in the future or not but uh, he is also saying try to try to diversify your portfolio if you diversified your portfolio you have a really 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 lower chances of losing your money and you need to you need to know the rule of the stock market that rule number one is don't lose the money and rule number two is follow the rule number one like the warren buffett says and I am very fascinated about uh, about Ray Dalio because he, he suggested all those portfolio how to be main, how to be ma maintain your portfolio and uh, you should buy stocks in which sector and which and very interesting part that I have checked with uh, that he says uh, do not buy stock more than thirty percent buy bonds forty percent then stock thirty percent uh, intermediate bonds fifteen percent seven point fifty percent is for the gold and 7.50 percent for the commodities and i will show you all the necessity and how he managed the inflation the growth the risk tolerance and everything after that you need to just maintain uh, like the same way because uh, i lose money even though it's not not a lot of money and it's not my money that i lose but still eventually i learned a big deal of lesson that uh, I won't. I won't necessarily do this kind of thing. I won't. Uh, I won't put or call as a as a millennial investor. I would. I would like to buy and hold on my stocks uh, for the long time purposes. And uh, if I do that, I saw. I checked last night all the result of uh, the long term bonds and the intermediate bonds. It produces no matter what in a single year long term bond will give you more than 10% and intermediate bonds will give you more than uh, more than 9 to 9.5%. So that's a pretty good deal, right? And the federation on top of that is uh, cutting uh, cutting interest rates to make the economy going well. I don't know uh, we are we're going to see an inflation pretty soon. So and I will show you how to diversify your portfolio like the way Ray Dalio did. Yes. He is the CEO and the founder of Bridgewater Associates that world, world's largest hedge fund and appro approximately 160 billion dollars is actively managing the portfolio is divided between 50 percent which is being seeing here 50 percent stocks and 50 percent bonds maybe you can do it 60 40 but uh, I would suggest 60-40 uh, is better. You can do 70-30 as now well. Now things get really interesting right here. When we see this chart, you should invest like this. If you invest like this, it will be really, really good balanced all weather portfolio for your portfolio. So here we are seeing that growth, inflation and rising and falling. So suppose you have stocks corporate bonds commodities and gold treasury bond inflation bonds and commodity same so when the stocks corporate bonds commodities or golds going up then your treasury bond and inflation linked bonds are going down it's vice versa on the inflation when the commodities gold inflation bonds are going up then the treasury bond and the stocks are going down and by the way i would love to continue investing on robin hood in my point of view is just a small crash and uh, i would follow the robin hood because it's really it's really the interface is really easy and easy to use and uh, for the beginners and something so i would recommend uh, do not uh, lose trust on robin hood it's been it's been a while there on the market i know this is unacceptable on a very good stock market trading day they got crashed something like that but i heard that they will give three months of free subscription those who were already the gold member for the robin hood they will get three months for free uh, robin hood uh, gold subscription which is um, absolutely free and i know it's it's not a lot of money it's only five dollars per month so it's fifteen dollars mm, robin hood can 
can give it easily so in my point of view i would continue i would take the advantages and uh, to be honest uh, i would my my situation is uh, right now so buy and hold position i would buy at one dollar i would hold ten hundred dollar i promise to myself that i would do that from now on and won't go with any kind of hype without uh, any reasonable or rational amount of uh, information if i don't have and another thing I would do, I would uh, continue to investing in a dollar cost averaging, which is no matter what happens, if market goes down, market goes up, I will obviously try to invest at the same time. I would not time the market that when it's going down or when it's going up. So what I would do, I would invest is a consistency base. I am not a financial advisor, you guys. So I, I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions and finally uh, Ray Dalio says that you will get to know a lot of opinions from your surroundings so I believe that so much because everyone has a something to say right everyone will say something about uh, their perfection their non-perfection something like that so you get to choose your point of view you do your own research and not uh, rely on my point uh, I'm just uh, a person that's sharing the information which might be happen to helpful for you guys and which i'm gonna use for now on so let's get on with it and let's see what is going on with robin hood and i hope they will make more uh, good interface and really easy to trade and something like that and this is it i will put one link down below for the robin hood app and please show your trust on the robin hood app because i'm trusting it and it's a long time on the market it's showing potential and uh, no matter uh, no matter what happens i will stick with it and uh, who knows what holds the future and uh, to be honest uh, that would be all thank you so much guys thank you for watching